Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Let's talk about using Senzon Fader for matrixes on the Behringer wing. So this is something that you could not do when the Behringer wing came out. Uh, it is new to firmware version 3.0. So if you don't have uh, version 3.0 of the firmware on your Behringer wing, this won't work and won't apply. I do have other videos on my channel that explain how to upgrade to version 3.0. And you can also see the fun process of me doing it live if you want and some of the mistakes I made or you know issues I ran into there. So if you've upgraded to 3.0 already, you now have the ability to do sends on fader to the matrixes. So essentially, it makes the matrixes uh, the same as a bus. So you now have essentially 24 buses where you used to only have 16. So it's, it's just like a bus, it's just that simple. I'm gonna go to my matrix layer here. Starts with the four mains, then you get the four matrixes and you can key over to get the next four matrixes, one through eight. Okay, so I'm gonna select matrix one, and then I'm gonna hit sends on fader flip. Okay, so you could not do this before, it didn't work. Now your left hand side of the board has flipped just like a bus would to your sends on fader flip, and you can mix every single channel into that matrix just like you could a bus. So, um, you know, other uses of that matrix, you can send um, matrixes to matrixes, so you could send one to two, you can send a main into a matrix, so a lot of people will uh, take their main, you know, main out, send it to a matrix for some different processing, you know, maybe for a live stream or some different things, and you could tweak the EQ in that case. You could add a heavier compressor maybe for that live stream and do some different processing. Um, if you needed two different, you know, it's the same mix, your main mix, but you need to process it differently for different reasons. So you get all these options now, which is uh, pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.